run down, vacant since Hurricane Sandy, and simply decrepit. Draper Hall in East Harlem used to be a dormitory for nurses. Now it's on the verge of a new life. This project is an example of the health world and the housing world coming together to really provide affordable housing. The building sits on East 99th Street and 1st Avenue. It's owned by the city's Health and Hospitals Corporation, but they're working with a developer, SKA Marin. It's located just across the street from Metropolitan Hospital. Through funding from the city and tax credits, the developer says they'll transform it into a 100% affordable housing building for seniors. We don't cross the threshold of being an assisted living or a nursing home. These are independent housing. The developer says the project will cost roughly $76 million and ultimately provide more than 200 units of housing. It will also have a space designated for a community center. The Health and Hospitals Corporation says they are still working on final approvals, but the developer says they expect it to be fully approved by December. This area will be revitalized by this project and bring the affordable housing that this district really, really needs. What remains unclear is who exactly would live here. It is slated to be Section 8 housing for seniors, meaning no one would pay more than 30% of their income. The balance is paid by the government. The developer and the community board both say they want preference for East Harlem seniors. The final determination will be made by the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development. It's a project that's happening in our community, and so keeping seniors close to where they live and keeping anyone close to where they live is extremely important. This project has many similarities to the one that SKA Marin did just half a block away that is opening in only weeks. The developers are hoping the Draper Hall project will open in 2017. In East Harlem, John Weinstein, New York One.